Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 14 5420 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have a total of eight screws on this bottom case. After taking all of those screws out, you're going to take a small flat preferably plastic pry tool. And I say plastic because that should scratch your case a lot less than a metal one will. You're gonna go around the seam of the bottom case and pry it off from the rest of your computer. Now it's generally better to start back here near the hinge assemblies in each corner. And once you start in one end, if you go down and you get stuck, leave it, start in the other direction and continue from there. Also, try not to put your pry tool too far in you could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge, be slow but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. After you do, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any upgrade or replacement parts for this exact model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and it will have many of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop, and again, all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, the 5420. Also, before touching anything in a computer, I always prefer to remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right down here. It's held on by three screws near the red arrows and it plugs into the motherboard right here near the green arrow. Now where it plugs into the motherboard, you'll see a black pull tab. You just grab that and pull directly up and off of the motherboard and it will come off of that port. Now that the battery has been removed or again, at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your CMOS battery is actually kind of hidden. It's underneath down here in the bottom left-hand corner of, of my screen. It's underneath this black plastic panel. So we already have that screw out. We're going to need to remove this screw here because under here is our CMOS battery. It's wrapped in black electrical tape. It's held down by double-sided tape so you can easily pop it off if you're looking to replace your CMOS battery. And it plugs under the motherboard. The cord goes out of here winds under here and plugs into the motherboard right there. So if you're looking to replace your CMOS battery, I will have a replacement option below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. There will be a CMOS battery option there. If you're here to just reset your bio system settings, you don't need to physically remove the battery. So that's good. You can leave this screw down. All you would have to do is unplug this cord from the motherboard for about 15, 20 seconds. That should be sufficient to reset your bio system settings. And remember, instead of pulling on the wire, manipulate just that plug. So use your fingernails or a pry tool to get that out of that port. Please note that this will, in most cases, only reset your BIOS system settings and not your BIOS password. Uh, for BIOS password reset information, look down below in the description under the FAQs I'll have more information there. But again, in most cases, this will not reset your BIOS password, just your BIOS system settings. And I guess as a last thing to mention, this resetting BIOS procedure is very common for people trying to troubleshoot why their computer's not turning on. If that's why you're here, there are a few other steps you can do to troubleshoot and find out why your laptop's not turning on. There will be a video link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a tutorial to show you how you can troubleshoot a laptop not turning on. But that's it for this video, how to get inside the 5420 and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive. 
more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.